Good afternoon, beekeepers and bee enthusiasts. How you doing? It's another great day at the farm, and we are chilling here beside this beautiful 14 frame lance hive that we received from Dr. Leo's website, horizontalhive.com. And we thought we would make a video for you, basically giving our opinions about this hive. And, you know, spoiler alert, we really like this hive. Like, it's a beautiful hive, and we're excited to talk about it. We thought we got a very good price for it. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's break right into it. So when we ordered these hives, we ordered three, okay? We weren't quite exactly sure we weren't what we were gonna get, but we knew that Dr. Leo always sends really good products. We've ordered from him before. Um, he's got some good stuff. And I'll tell you what, when we brought this hive up and pulled it out of the box, it was just so pleasing to look at. I mean, uh, the metal corners here, the wood, uh, the top, I mean, it's just a really nice looking hive. And I definitely commend him for uh, the work they put into this stuff because they did put a good amount of work. Um, so we'll, we'll talk about all the features that we noticed because there's differences. Like, as you can see, we only have a bottom entrance and a top entrance. Where all of our hives that you know of, uh, we always have our entrance on the right side of the hive and the left side of the hive. So there's differences. And we're gonna talk about those differences and I think it'll be a really fun conversation. So let's go ahead and dissect this hive. So straight off the bat, as you can see, uh, I love these metal corners here. It seems like it just holds the hive together really well. You know, we don't have those on our hives, but it, it looks so good. It just makes the hive look really good. Um, as far as wood treatment goes here, this is linseed oil. Uh, Dr. Leo used linseed oil on these hives. So he says they can last two years. Uh, just fine and then after two years you probably need to put on another coat um, As far as the entrances go, this is really interesting. So um, As you know in our hives our entrances are on the right side of the hive and on the left side of the hive But Dr. Leo on these hives now he's putting an entrance on the t on the bottom and the top and from what I can understand with this is a bottom entrance and a top entrance is actually how a lot of bees do in the wild. And I, I assume they have one pathway for an exit and one for an entrance. Um, but in any case, he says whenever the hive starts to get really busy and you start seeing some bearding and stuff like that, you should open up this top just like that. And then you can, they can come and go as they please. So yeah, so that's really cool. Um, as far as the top, uh, we, we have a hinge top. I love hinge tops. I love them so much more than, you know, some of our hives, is, it's just a top you just lift off. But I like the, the tops that are on hinges. As you can see, that folds back really well. And it comes back uh, enough so where you can have easy lifting of frames and all that stuff. Um, and that's, that's the things I, the, that's the big things I noticed about the outside. So let's take a look at the inside and see what we got going on there. Okay, so as we start to look to the interior, we can see that we've got these hooks right here that keep the lid sealed when we need it to be. And so if we open the top, holy cow, look at that. And I'm not, I'm, I've actually seen the inside already, but in any case, as you can see, we have 14 lands frames, okay? 14 lands frames. Now remember, I told you the whole thing costs 250, okay? But it comes, Dr. Leo includes 14 lands frames. You know these are worth about $7 each? Yeah, these are worth about $7 each. And so all 14, that's a $98 value uh, for all these frames. So. Yes, while you're spending 250 for the hive system, um, you're also getting almost $100 worth of frames that come included, uh, and that's outstanding. Frames are not the easiest to make. Uh, they, they take some time. They're not hard, but they do take some time. So when you receive a hive that comes with 14 frames, uh, that's really cool, so we like that. So let me go ahead and take, let's see. Let me take some of these frames out for a second because I want to show you inside the hive. Beautiful, love it. Okay, so as we look into the hive, as you can see, we have ventilation at the bottom. 
and moisture can be a big problem for your bees. So having good ventilation is very important to a hive system. Very important. Now, I have a question for you. Do you notice anything different about this lance hive from what you can see? Well, we did not notice at first, but now we have noticed. But the walls are actually 11 sixteenths thick. And normally our hives, or all of our hives that we have, are all an inch and a half thick, two by lumber. And so we were, at first, we were kind of like, well, dang, we're used to that, you know, those thick walls. And we, we talked to a few people about it. We said, you know, what do you think about us using uh, walls that are 11 sixteenths uh, in the mountains of North Carolina? And most people told us, including people that have this hive system, they said their bees do fine in cold climates. And they said they do just fine. They said we should obviously make sure that we uh, put some wool on the top uh, in a pillow um, just for some added insulation to the top. But in any case, um, you know, we're just going to see how it works. You know, so we, like I said, we ordered three of these hives and we're going to see how these hives do in the mountains of North Carolina. Now, we're not going to be doing a lot of exterior insulation and stuff like that. Um, you know, we've never done that for any of our hives, and we just kind of like them to be able to do things on their own. So we'll see how it works. But Dr. Leo, in his instructions, he did say if you have colder climates, you should add insulation to the exterior. So he did. He definitely did say that. Uh, but we're going to just see how the bees do. Um, so yeah, um, again, it's just such a beautiful hive. I, I just love the way it looks. I love the inside. Uh, like I said, those frames, that's a good value. Those frames are, are those 14 frames are worth a hundred dollars. Um, so, you know, a really good value for that. And yeah. So what are my final thoughts on this hive? Well, I gotta tell you, I'm very interested in trying the lower entrance and the top entrance to see how that works. Um, I give the hive a 10 out of 10 on looks. I mean, I just love the look of this hive. It just looks so well made and uh, definitely worth what we spent on it. Um, you know, the, I love the hinge top. I mean, I, that's, that's like a big plus for me in Land's hives. Uh, the frame's awesome. You know, the only thing that, you know, I have a preference for is inch and a half thick walls um, for Land's hives, but you know, people have told us that these hives work really well. So we're going to test them out and we're excited to show people how they work. But in any case, we think they're going to do just fine. You know, I can't wait to uh, get some bees in this hive. And believe it or not, that swarm hive we showed you at the start, that is a colony we're going to be moving into this hive. It's here in the Violet Cove area. Some of you remember this from some of our earlier videos where we're moving the bees from the Violet Cove Swarm Hive into this hive, and we're gonna try them out. I gotta get a sand built, and then basically we're ready to go. And uh, yeah, we'll see how these bees uh, do. They have a beautiful area back here. It's it's nice and natural, you could say. But in any case, we're very excited about this hive. Thank you, Dr. Leo. And until next time, we'll see you soon.